Welcome back. Prime Minister Mustafa Madbouli reiterated on Monday that Egypt and the United Kingdom enjoy historical strategic ties. Madbouli was speaking at the opening session of the Egyptian-British Trade Chamber, which was held via video conference. In his speech, the Premier expressed confidence that the Egyptian and British business community are keen on building strong economic ties to serve the interests of the two nations. He pointed out to an agreement between President Sisi and British Prime Minister Boris Johnson to enhance the economic partnership between the two countries to support Egypt's efforts to develop sustainable economy to serve coming generations. He said that after British concludes the process of existing European Union, it will have to capitalize on Egypt's distinguished location as a trade hub and a gate to Africa. And with us to discuss the Egyptian-British economic relations, Ambassador Gamal Bayoumi, former Assistant Foreign Minister. Ambassador Bayoumi, good afternoon to you. Good afternoon, how are you? How are you, sir? Uh, Ambassador Bayoumi, mm. Egypt and the United Kingdom enjoy historical strategic ties. Will you shed more light on the importance of those uh, uh, relations? Of course, it is a very old relations, and it proves to us that we don't have permanent uh, relations, whether it is good or bad. Yes. Uh, we, we remember all, always the British occupation to Egypt. We remember the British uh, soldiers at the Suez Canal Zone. But we are uh, a very uh, successful foreign policy. We move to uh, bring this to a sort of cooperation yes. and real friendship among uh, the two countries. And even more because Egypt now is the uh, main partner to the whole European continent. And uh, Britain, of course, it has its history in Egypt. It is our first uh, foreign language. Uh, Britain has many, many uh, uh, projects and programs for the development of Egypt. Yes. Also in the field of education, we, we have many, many of our graduates from uh, uh, Britain and uh, and its institutions. We have a big community of Egyptians living in, uh, in Britain and they are uh, in a very good position. Yes. And uh, now we are talking on the economic level. Mm -hmm. It's going quite well. We are now in a deep uh, consultations and uh, negotiations in order to handle the situation after the Brexit. What will be the situation between Egypt and Britain yes. after the British existence exit uh, from uh, the EU. Yes. Because, of course, we have the Egyptian-European Association Agreement, which uh, dismantled all the barriers concerning trade and uh, investment. Yes, indeed. Now Britain is not, not, not any more member in the European Union. Yes. And we are trying to take uh, the opportunity like that in order to create new agreement mm. which will uh, keep the relations in its level uh, between Egypt and uh, Britain. Yes, indeed. Many, many dimensions of the relations, we are proud of it, and uh, really we are keen to deepen it and widen it even in the future. Yes, indeed. Ambassador Bayoumi, uh, uh, Prime Minister Mustafa Medbouri pointed out to an agreement between President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi and British Prime Minister Boris Johnson to enhance the economic partnership between the two countries. What are the main fields of cooperation between the two countries, uh, sir? It is very good that, uh, of course, the relations is carried on by the level of embassies and ambassadors, by the level yes. of ministers and prime ministers. But it is very important when you have what we call mm. the, the summit level or the diplomacy of the airport, it's very important because yes. if we have such a good contact between our president and the prime minister of England or the chancellor of uh, Germany or the, the president of France, this is very important. It makes uh, decisions more easier and it makes the relations uh, under the auspices of such uh, high-level yes. uh, leaders. Mm. With Britain, it is the same. And I think it's very easy to talk to 
the British people because the culture is uh, almost uh, very, very near to each yeah. other. And uh, if you uh, look around you anywhere in Egypt, you'll mm. find uh, such uh, stamp here or there yeah. coming from the real Egyptian British uh, religions. Indeed. Ambassador uh, uh, Gamal Bayoumi, former assistant uh, foreign minister, always a pleasure to listen to your precious input. So thank you very thank much. You. Thank you. Counting of votes in the second phase of the parliamentary elections continued on Monday. Earlier, the National Election Authority, NEA, headed by the councillor Lachine Ibrahim, announced the end of the vote of 9,468 subcommittees in 13 governorates. He said that the NEA followed closely the voting process and did not detect any violations. Lachine added that the counting process began in presence of the committee's representatives of candidates, observers and media coverage. The NEA is scheduled to announce the final results of the second phase on the 15th of November. Meanwhile, Egypt has reported 239 new coronavirus infections, bringing the total number of cases to 109,201 people since the outbreak hit the country in mid-February. The Health Ministry reported 13 new deaths, bringing the total number of fatalities to 6,368. The Ministry added that the number of those who have recovered and discharged from hospitals rose to 100,342 people. According to a latest tally, more than 50.3.